Hey guys, what's going on? Josh is down here with another video. Haven't done one in a while. This one's going to help out all my PC gamer friends. For those of you who wanted to actually host your own private servers instead of rent them, this is a video going to show you how to actually get port forwarding to work. Now, a lot of people out there, like me included, could not get it to work for the life of them. It took me a few weeks of just nonstop research and trying all sorts of different ways, port forwarding, port triggering, all sorts of crazy things, and it still never worked, ever. So it came down to the last straw because I'm a troubleshooting person, so what it is, I troubleshoot it all the way back to the modem. So first things first is I used to have this modem because I have Time Warner cable uh, internet package, and it's cable internet. And they gave me this modem originally. Now, it gave me the speeds I needed. But the thing about these Aeris modems is, well, mine at least, is it has its own built-in firewall system that not even Time Warner could disable. Um, what they're supposed to do with modems is called bridge it, which that means Internet just goes right through it like it doesn't even exist. Internet goes from Time Warner right to your router. And so that's what this is supposed to do when you bridge it. And from there, that's where you have all the access to port forwarding and you have all the like things you can do yourself, blocking ports, all that. But since this one was giving me the biggest trouble, I called Time Warner, bitched them out, and they gave me a new modem. They went ahead and gave me this one. This one is the UBDDW365. Now this modem has port forwarding working on it just great. So... I recommend if you do not have this modem, get it. First off, it's not even that expensive compared to other ones. You can get it from 39 bucks or even 69 bucks or whatever you wanted. And this modem, it rocks. Um, although I don't have gigabit internet in my area, so when we do, I'm going to have to upgrade it because it only goes up, up to 343 download speed, which is it's just not fast enough. So once that day comes, I'll upgrade it again and hopefully not have to bitch time Warner out. Um, hopefully it'll go to Google at that point. But, so, I have this modem now. Now, I'm going to show you how to get port forwarding work a couple different ways. Just in case you can't get this modem, we're going to try one other thing uh, that helps you out. And it could potentially break through your modem's firewall if we're lucky. So, uh, let's get started. So, first things first, I'm going to show you my way I have port forwarding set up. So you can copy these settings verbatim. So, uh, this is when you log into your router, usually it's somewhere along this lines. Uh, log into it, admin, and then whatever your password is. And for my Asus RTAC56, it looks like this. A few routers look different, and so this one I'm going to be showing you. It has the options down here to the left. What you want to go to is WAN, WAN. And once it loads up, you're going to go to virtual server port forwarding. And then down here is where you're going to be adding the ports. Now, remember, my modem is bridged, so internet's passing straight through all the way to this router. And now what happens is I have the firewalls enabled on my router. I'll show you. So as you see here, the firewalls are on. And going back to WAN and port forwarding, you see here are uh, where I have my ports and openings from. So... Uh, again, if you don't know how to do this, here's the proper way to do it. You make sure it is enabled, and when you come down here, you type the service name. An example would be what we're going to be using today. I'm going to show you a Terraria. So I put in Terraria, and then you go ahead and find out. You can Google it and find out what ports that game uses. Um, some games use specific ports. Some games won't run unless you have them on those specific ports. So as far as I know, Terraria uses 7777, port 7777. Real easy. So when I put in the port range, I put in the number before the port that it's de designed for, and then a colon, and then the number after the port it's designed for. So 7777 is right in the dead center in between these two numbers. And then when you put your local IP, you're going to go ahead and put your computer, which whatever the IP of your computer is, you can find that out. It should have it right here, but if you want to really find it out, it's pretty easy. Just go type CMD, and then type IP config, and then you scroll up. And then bam, this is my computer, IPv4 address under the Ethernet adapter. Bam. So, this already realizes it. And so you put, go ahead and put it there. And then for local port, leave it blank. Uh, for protocol, just put both to be safe because they use either TCP or UDP. Sometimes you can't figure that out. So if you put both, you're in the clear. 
Once you apply that, these ports are technically forwarded. So a way to test that, I'll show you, is a website called canyouseeme.org. Now what this website does is it tests, it sends basically uh, packets to the port you want it to right here, and it has your IP. And so that, because that's what people are going to be logging into your servers and your games, they're going to put in your IP and then whatever port you're using. That's, and then they can connect to your stuff when the ports are forwarded, or else it'll reject them. So, given an example, uh, 7777 is Terraria. So, we went ahead and check the port. See how it's taking a while? This is actually not good. Bam. Reason timed out. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, I thought you just port forwarded. Yeah, I did. But, the thing is... It's not going to read an open port unless something's already inside that port using it. Like some the application is actually running that port server. So I'm going to show you. Let's load up Terraria host complete my guy. Bam. All right. So I am in this game. So technically my server is up and running. So we go back to canyoncb.org, put in Terraria's port. Boom. Port is forwarded and people can join my Terraria server if you wanted. That's how you port forward and that's how you confirm it without going through any kind of program downloading and trying to learn confusing things. This is the absolute easiest way to figure it out. So if you missed any steps, go back on the video and watch them again. But that's how you get the traditional port forwarding to work. And that wraps it up for this first video. This is part one of getting the port forwarding to work. And the next one, I'm going to show you how to get port forwarding to work without forwarding the ports and using a program that worked for me. So go ahead and click on the video in the top right. That's going to be the next video. It may not be active until the video is uploaded. So just it'll be there. Uh, check out my other videos in the top left. And if you haven't subscribed, I do videos like this, tutorial videos, video game montages. I just do a lot of stuff that I just find fun when I have free time. So if you, if you like this video and I explain some good stuff to you, you know, go ahead and hit subscribe button right down there at the bottom. And I will see you guys next time.